Hi, I'm Nikki B and welcome to my low impact HIIT workout today. Okay, we're going to be working for 22 minutes. We're going to work the full body. We're going to get that heart rate elevated. And we're going to incorporate some toning moves too. Okay, make sure you've warmed up before you start. Either the warm-up on my channel, a warm-up of your choice. And we're going to work in sets. So we have three sets. We have four exercises per set. We'll work each one for 30 seconds, back to back, with no rest. So two minutes hard work, then you get a 30 second rest, okay? Three rounds per set, and then we go on to the next set, which is different for exercises. So it's gonna keep you on your toes, it's gonna be quite varied. I will show you the first four exercises, because when I hit my timer, we go straight into it. So the first one is skater. So just skate into the side. Now you can make this harder by touching the floor. Just keep that chin up. We then have jacks to floor. So stepping out, touch the floor. Again, chest up. Okay, we then have press up. So either on your knees or on your toes. So if you're on your knees, we want to press up, come up onto those toes. Two knee ins. Back to those toes, press up. Two knee ins. Then we have in and outs. So we're coming down low. We're going out and in, out and in. Now we can increase this further by having our hands up in the air. Okay, so there are your four exercises. I'll remind you as we go. Let's hit that timer. So, first one, skater. So big steps to the side. Either like so, or touch that floor. Keep that head and chest up. Well done. 10 seconds. Okay, jack to floor. So stepping out, down. That heart rate should be going up. If coming down too low is difficult, just go with step out jacks. Okay. If you can, touch that floor. Okay, press that two knee in. So either on your toes or on your knees. Just make sure those wrists are stacked under those shoulders. We come so coming down low in and out excellent so those feet are quick if you need to step out shake those legs do so and rejoin Whew, shake those legs 30 second break. So round one done, exactly the same. We have two more rounds. So make sure you make the most of this 30 seconds, grab a drink if you need it. And then we're gonna go back. So we're going back to skaters to begin in 10. Whew. Actually that heart rate should be up. Are you ready? Skaters, so coming across. Again, got different intensities here. Coming up, touching the knee, or touching the floor, but just keeping that chest up, looking forwards. Well done. Okay, we've got those jacks to the floor. So stepping out, touch the floor. Or just go with regular jacks. Use those arms, work that upper body to well. 10. Oh, 
press up to knee in. So. Superb. Okay, in and out, down low, in and out. Again, arms up, or just have them down if it's too challenging. Nice and quick. Ten seconds. Shake those legs, 30 second rest. One more round and then we get four new exercises. <clears throat> well done. Try and keep moving in this 30 seconds, just keep those legs warm. Even if it's just marching, moving on the spot. Okay, 10 more seconds, we're gonna go back for that final round. Skaters. <clears throat> Again, just up here, down to the knee, or touching the floor. Super. Five. Ooh, okay, jacks to the floor. So up to the floor. Chest up. Ten seconds. Whew, press up, knee in. Shave on those knees or toes. Then press up, knee in. Help me come in and out. Final exercise of this set. That core is engaged. Five seconds. Okay, watch me for the next four. We're coming down, stepping out vertically, back, in, in, up onto those calves. Out, out, in, in, up on those calves. We then have reverse lunges, alternating, stepping back into that reverse lunge. We then have regular jacks, okay? Followed by power knee. So right leg round one, left round two, then both on the final round. So step out burpee to calf raise. Coming down. Step right, left, in, in. Reach on those curved tippy toes. Step back, reverse lunge. Bring that back leg close to the floor. Check that knee alignment. You've got a nice 90 degree angle. Okay, 
So we've got jacks, regular jacks. We will swap the arms on round two and round three, but we're just regular for this round. Excellent. Keep it going. Five. Okay, power knee right. So really drive that leg across, that right knee. Power. Use those arms as well. Okay, 30 second rest. So once again, this time for the jacks, we're gonna punch forward. So we're gonna punch with those arms, okay? Jacks with the feet, punching with the arms. Everything else remains the same. Whew, so we have that step out bear P2 calf raise to begin in 10 seconds. Are you ready? In five. So Coming down, step right, left, in, in, calf raise. Reverse lunge, so alternating back, right, left. Brilliant. You're doing great. Okay, so we've got punch jacks. So nice quick feet. Use those arms. Try and get those feet quick. Okay, power knee left, so drive that knee, left knee this time. Okay, and relax. So, final round. This time we're doing shoulder jacks. So, we're going punch into the ceiling, bring those arms in and out for those jacks. And the power knees, we're going to do 15 seconds each side, okay? So, 15 on the right, 15 on the left. So, last round of this set before we go on to our final four exercises. Are you ready? So, step out, burpee, two calf raise. Reach to the ceiling. Excellent. Okay, reverse lunges, so step it back. Well done. Ten seconds. OK, 
Okay, so shoulder jacks, punching the ceiling. Bringing those arms in. Really work that upper body. So right. That's it. Keep going. And swap left to finish. Ten seconds. Okay, so last set, we have eight mountain climbers. Eight, two step outs. Okay, so eight, two step outs. We have squat pulses, down for five and up, down for five and up. We have walk out, walk out, hit up plank, tap the bottom or hip, or kick back out. We then have full sit up, two knees in. So bringing those knees in, or coming up, thigh crunches. So, mountain climbers, A, two step out. Two step out, one, two. So squat, toes facing forwards or slightly out, coming down for five. Squeeze that bottom to standing. Well done. Squeeze. Five seconds. Okay, so we've got that walk out to hip tap or bottom tap. So walk out until those wrists are under those shoulders, core is engaged and tap. Really working your core this one. Try and keep those hips stable. Coming down, so lay back, coming up, bringing those knees in. Or, if that's too challenging, thigh crunches. Okay. Nice and controlled. we come. Two more rounds to go. Just under five minutes left of work. My apologies if my timer is a second or two out. I'm not sure what's happened there. I think it's playing catch up or but anyway. Are we ready? So we have eight mountain climbers, two step outs. Eight and two. Wrists under those shoulders. Super. <laughs> Up we come, squat pulses. Stay down low, squeeze it up. Nice and low. Really feeling it in that bottom and those glutes. Squeeze. 10 seconds. Okay, 
So that walk out. So walk out into that up plank position. Tap, tap. Make sure that core is engaged before you release those hands. touching the ground. All five crunches. Sliding up those thighs. Perfect. You're doing brilliantly. Okay, slowly come up. Last round. Last two minutes of work. And you are done. Everything stays the same, but we're going to give it everything for that last two minutes. Are we ready in ten? So eight mountain climbers, two step outs. Go. Really drive those knees to that chest. Okay, squat pulses. So coming down, squat one, two, three, four, five, squeeze. Keep that chest up. Five more seconds. Okay, walk out to tap. So again, remember, core engage. Tap, tap. And reach. seconds. So sit up to knee in or thigh crunches. Last 30 seconds of work. To that bell. Fantastic. Last one. And relax. Well done. Excellent. I hope you enjoyed that. Whew, make sure you cool down now. If you've worked hard, get those fluids in. Um, yeah, like I say, make sure you cool down, stretch it out, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.